Let's unlock the secrets of Anthropic's MCP model context protocol. Imagine you have an AI, like Claude, that's incredibly smart, but it's stuck in a box. It can't access your files, search the web, or use other tools on your computer. That's where MCP comes in. Think of it as a key that unlocks Claude's potential, allowing it to interact with the real world. Let's see how this magic happens. 1. The MCP host, Claude's gateway. Claude desktop, this is where you interact with Claude. It's the user interface. AI tools, these are the various tools and applications that Claude can access through MCP. Think of them as extensions to Claude's capabilities. MCP client, the MCP client is the bridge between Claude and the rest of the system. It sends requests to the MCP servers. MCP protocol, this is the communication language that the client and servers use to understand each other. It's the set of rules that allow them to exchange information. MCP servers, A, B, C, these are the workhorses. They handle the requests from the client and interact with external resources. Each server might be responsible for a different type of task. Server A, connects to Google Drive, allowing Claude to access and manipulate files. Server B, connects to a PostgreSQL database, enabling Claude to retrieve and store data. Server C, connects to web APIs, the internet, GitHub, and Slack, giving Claude access to a wide range of online services and tools. Now, let's zoom in on the core building blocks of MCP. Secure file access, this allows Claude to securely access files on your computer or in cloud storage like Google Drive. It's like giving Claude a library card. Sampling, this allows Claude to extract specific information from large datasets or documents. It's like giving Claude a highlighter. Prompt, this is the user's input, the question or instruction they give to Claude. It's the starting point for the entire process. Resources, these are the external data sources and tools that Claude can access. Tools and functions, these are the specific actions that Claude can perform, such as searching the web, sending emails, or running code. The transport layer, secure communication. This ensures that the communication between the MCP client and servers is secure and reliable. It's like the armored truck that carries the information. So, how does it all work? You give Claude a prompt on your desktop. The MCP client sends a request to the appropriate MCP server using the MCP protocol. The server accesses the necessary resources and tools, and sends the results back to Claude. Claude then uses this information to generate a response. MCP is a powerful framework that allows AI models like Claude to break free from their limitations and interact with the real world. It's a step towards building more capable and versatile AI assistants. What exciting applications of MCP can you imagine? Let's discuss in the comments below.